Hello everyone, my name is Eric. Today I want to talk about Lico 1365. How many numbers are smaller than current number? And the description of this problem is very easy. Given a number nums array, we have to decide, we have to return how many number is smaller than current number. What does that mean? Uh, for example, for the example 1, we have an array which is A, 1, 2, 2, 3. And we have returned an array that is corresponding to the how many smaller number than the number in this position. For example, for the 8, we have 4 number that is smaller than 8, which is 1, 2, 2, 3. So we have returned 4 here. And for 1, we have no number that is smaller than 1. So here, we will append it as 0. Then for 2, we only have one number that is smaller than 2. So for here, we will return 1. And for here, we will also return 1. And for 3, we found that we can find 3 number that is smaller than 3 in the nums array. So we return 3 here. So the final output will be 40113 for this problem. Now we understand the problems and how can we solve that? I think the most simple one approach we can think of is to use a brute force approach. For each number, we search for the whole nuns array and to count how many number is small than, than that number. For example, for the A, we can check it one by one. One is smaller than eight, two is smaller than eight, two is smaller than eight, and three is smaller than eight. So we, we know that there are four numbers that is smaller than eight. But for this approach, because we check the nuns array one by one for each iteration, and there will be n's iteration. So the total time capacity will be big O n square. And to achieve a better time capacity, we can use quick sort. And every time we use the quick sort, the index that after we use the quick sort is the answer because when we use the quick sort, we will place the number into the correct position, which means the 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 number that is in front of the current number is the number that is smaller than the current number. And for this approach, we will use the time capacity is n log n. And for this problem, we will have a solution that have a better time capacity. But to find this solution, we have to see the constraint of this problem. And if we see the constraint of this problem, we will find that for the numbers, they will be between 0 and 100. What does that mean? The range is actually very small. And we also know that the, num the number in the nuns array can only be integer. How can I know that? If you change it into Java or C++, we will find that the num is an integer array. So there are only 101 possibility of the number. So we can use a better approach which achieve a better time capacity, which is Bucky sort. Let me illustrate my idea. And now we know that Oh, there will only be 101 numbers, which is from 0 to 100. And for each number, we can create a bucket to store how many lead numbers in the array. What does that mean? We can first create the number from the 0 to 100, and each number will have a bucket. And the value stored in the bucket means how many numbers that number that is in the array. So how can we update this packet? For given arrays, we can scan the array one by one. The first element is six, so we update. We let the number in the bucket six to add one. So it will become one. Then if there is a five, we will update it into one. And if there is a four, we will update it into one. And if there is a eight, if we will update into one. And if there is a five here, we will update the bucket five into two because we will add the number in the bucket. So after, after this process, 
the number let's store in the bucket will be the count of each numbers. After we know the count of each number in the array, we can use this information to get our final answers. And how can we do that? It is the bucket that we have stored the count of each numbers. If we want to find how many numbers is smaller than 5, we just accumulate all of the buckets because 5, so the answer is 1 here. And if we want to calculate how many number is smaller than 8, we just accumulate all of the buckets in front of 8 and we can get the answers. So the thing we have to do is to calculate the accumulate signs of each bucket. So if we want to get how many number is smaller than a, a number, we just check the accumu accumulate sign that is before that bucket. For example, if I want to get the um, get the how many number is smaller than eight, we just check the accumulate sign of the seven. And if we calculate the accumulate sign, it will only take big O of buckets. So it will be a constant time operation. So the total time capacity will be big O M plus B, which is B is the length of the bucket and the N is the length of nouns. And the space capacity is big O B, and because B is the constant, so it will be big O1 for this solution. After we know the idea of the solution, we can go to see how we implement this solution. And the code is actually very simple. In the first line, we have to new the buckets for the each number, which is from 0 to 100. And we will start from 0, because we want to check the count of each number. And for the each number in the nums array, we calculate the count and store it into the packet. And I create a accumulated ACC to record what is the accumulate uh, sum now. And for for the each packet, we calculate the accumulated sum. And because I don't want to new a new array, I use the previous variable to store the number of current packets and update the bucket to the accumulate sum, which is the accumulate sum before that bucket, and then update the accumulate sum. And what we should we return? We should return for the bucket for the each number each number in the array, which is means the small how many smaller number of the current number and it will be our solutions. And to summarize this problem, I think the most important idea is that we use the constraint of this problem. And if we know that the range of the number is small, we can use the idea of the bucket sort and it can reduce our time capacity and get a better solution. And thank you for watching today's video.